Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying? There is a pain is going down. <laughs> if you even go to your community, people now are saying, maybe I don't know about it. People, some of the things that is happening, that somebody allowed it. Every bad thing happening is not from Satan. Like, it's Satan doing it, but God allowed it. The reason why God allowed it is that he wants to open up something in us that we have not tapped yet. Because as long as we walk with God, we will be crying out for something that can counter this. What can counter this? What can counter this? And God knows it's inside of us. And if he allows us at that our layer, are you getting what I'm saying? We will keep becoming comfortable and assume that that's the best that God can do. So he allows something adverse to be happening. As he's increasing, you'll be going deeper. There, there might not be answers or things to testify to the fact that you are joining. But you will notice that grace in that thing will keep increasing. Grace will keep increasing. Grace will keep increasing. I want to ask you, does God need to explain to you what he's doing with your prayer? Does he need to explain to you? You have not started praying yet. That's why you are asking, this one I prayed, nothing. This one I prayed. What if you pray and die? God didn't tell you what he wants to do with your prayer. That's how I see prayer. That's how I see prayer. Somebody told me that, he said, uh, is it power you are praying for? <laughs> I remember one IEC, that time I came. And what we are staying. As soon as we, as soon as we dismiss, bam, I've left. The reason why I'm leaving is that I calculated the 45 minutes and one hour people used to say things that are not normal. You speak away the encounter you received. Now, I'm not saying you should not talk or you can do whatever you want, but that's how I feel. I felt. I zoomed off. When I entered where we are staying, it's actually purpose. I entered there. There was a room where inside. As soon as I entered, I used... Sometimes if I find something I eat, sometimes I'll use something, cover myself and sleep. I'll force myself to sleep. If I refuse to sleep, I'll pray myself to sleep. Then in the night, when everybody has slept, I'll wake up, maybe around one or two, and stay till daybreak. Once it's five, I take my bath. I didn't know that there is a brother that was seeing me. He was seeing me. So at some point, he came and said, <laughs> and that's why I told you this story. He said that I am looking for, for power. That's why I'm praying like this. God forbid. I tell you something. Before I have ever come here, I already have oil. I was born into this thing. I didn't even enjoy the world small. From when I was small, that's how I started doing this thing. So sometimes I wish I even enjoyed the one then came back and said, I'll be, as I'm preaching, I'll be telling you about my former life. But I don't have former life. <laughs> if you have heard me preach, I don't have former life. There is no former life. Want, I, I wanted a former life to talk. I didn't have anyone. So I was a little angry with God. Why? Allow me to, so that I will preach about your power to save. From well, I didn't have. Nine years old, I'm already off. Before I was 14, I've read my Bible many times. Not because I really want it, but the environment cultures me to do that. Huh? So I've been in this thing. Is, is it anointing? Is good. Without it, you can't do ministry. That's, it. That's not why I'm praying. That time I've already... But something is cooking in me and telling me there is a place God is going. And we have not found a fountain that can sustain it. We need to get to the fountain that can sustain it. If God opens this new season to us, what we are doing now lacks the capacity to hold it. You are clapping for yourself. When he opens, your prayer life is not large enough. There is a measure of life we need to that can carry it. You are not there. It's a call to awaken. Teach me. Take me. Take me to depths. Take me to a place where I'll be lost. Take me to the place where I will grow. And then I, I, I will be, by the time I'm coming out, not just about me, something will be released. Your environment will be an environment of life. If such a person sits in this auditorium, it doesn't matter who is preaching. Life will feel everywhere. 
He is carrying something out of his secret place. Those men are walking as mobile effulgence of what God can do with a man that is yielded. 